if this is the end, I blame Tom Brady. And, and Giselle, if you're listening or watching, I just happen to know a single uh, sports writer and broadcaster uh, living in Nashville. Tom Brady, Giselle Bungeon hired divorce lawyers amid marital woes, according to sources. Let's read from the story. Tom Brady and Giselle Bungeon seem to be heading for the end zone. Both have retained divorce lawyers. Multiple sources tell page six exclusively. As previously revealed, the couple have been living separately for the past couple of months following an epic fight, and they're now apparently looking at dividing up their multi-million dollar empire. Uh, quote, I never actually thought this argument would be the end of them, but it looks like it is. One source who uh, in the know tells page six, I don't think there will be any coming back now. They both have lawyers and are looking at what sp a split will entail, who gets what, and what the finances will be. Mm. Mm. Uh, Steve, I got to say, I'm sad to hear this news. Uh, I'm not surprised. If anybody's been listening to this show, you know whose team I'm on. I'm on Giselle's team. I think Tom Brady has been very selfish here. I think, wasn't it just that yesterday I was sitting here talking about Antonio Brown and bringing this man, this predator, into their home? Uh, and that whole situation in Dubai, I thought a bad look for Tom Brady. Uh, he's selfish about his football career. He told this woman he was retiring and he was going to come home and focus on his family and kids. I think 20 some odd years and seven Super Bowl championships is more than enough. I think this woman had a right. Uh, she, he changed the expectations. She thought last season was the finish line. He, he set those expectations when he announced his retirement. He pulls the rug out from underneath her. I'm a thousand percent on Team Giselle, and I know I'm the sexist pig on this show that's always caping up for the man, but not here. If this is the end, I blame Tom Brady. And, and Giselle, if you're listening or watching, I just happen to know a single... Uh, sports writer and broadcaster uh, living in Nashville uh, who, you know, <laughs> would be a great shoulder to cry on. So now go ahead, Steve. Well, Jason, first of all, uh, good Tuesday to you. Uh, I will say this. I thought the divorce with Belichick was always inevitable, uh, but I thought here the kids were going to make it. But there is good news. The Buccaneers have their quarterback for at least the next four or five years till his 50th birthday. <laughs> but But to be a little bit serious <laughs> about this, um, Giselle always thought that she could outlast football, that eventually that this was going to be a career with a finite timeline like most athletes, except Tom is the anomaly. Most football players in their early 30s are used up. This guy might actually go into his late 40s. I don't think that's done, has been done since George Blanda, now that I think about it. Very few football players actually get to the age of 35 and 40. Uh, I don't even know the last guy that was this old playing at such a high level. But the reality has hit Giselle, along with many other things, that um, Tom Brady was married to football. I just happened to be the uh, mistress. I, I know we're two single guys sitting up here talking about this and and – Tomorrow, I'm going to address it in the harmony, and we'll have Dave Shannon here, TJ Moe, uh, Pastor Anthony, and we'll go a bit more in depth. But I, I'm going to circle back, Steve, and put you on the spot. Who do you blame? I, I, you just gave the explanation of what happened. Is there a bad guy in this situation? I'm totally on I think Brady's the bad guy here. You get into a relationship. This woman had reasonable expectations that last year was his last year. She supported him for virtually his entire NFL career. They've got three kids. Give up football and get into this world and life with these kids. Kids need the attention. And, and again, I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm on 
I'm on Team Giselle, and I, I, it's shocking yeah. me that I am, but I think Tom's a bad guy here. Look, we're not the fly on the wall. We, we've never been a part of their intimate discussions or the arguments. I think the New York Post story talked about a blowout or a blow up and how that was happening more and more. But let me just put it to you like this from what we know. Back about seven, eight months ago, he retired. And I believe it is reasonable for any wife to say, okay, you have now planted the flag. You've made a declaration that I'm going to move on to the next chapter of my life. And I'm going to devote more time to the family. And there are kids involved. And that's an important variable. Okay. Um, At that point, I will say that Giselle has a right to say, okay, you are now retired. You've gotten your share of football. I've been patient. Now we can move on. And then to rip that away when that relationship may have been fraying the last couple of years to begin with, yes, I I do put this on Tom Brady. 